the accuracy 7. Many people already ask themselves, is that weapon a sniper or is that a shotgun? Well, I've got the answer for you. It's both. Hello and welcome to my new video. I hope you enjoyed that really, really epic intro. And let's get started with the Ecarisi 7, the sniper rifle for the medic. Or should I say, sniper shotgun. When you see the stats of the Ecarisi 7, you could think that the gun is not even that good, because it has only got 550 damage, a range of 5.8, and only 185 RPM and that's not that good for a shotgun. Um, the accuracy is of course very good because it's the accuracy 7. It's uh, a bit better than uh, the standard of the shotguns because usually it's under aim accuracy, uh, I mean below aim accuracy 76 and below hip accuracy 59. So usually the accuracy is not uh, good as the accuracy of the accuracy 7. Oh, wow, I think I just said three times accuracy in one sentence. But, well, the accuracy 7 is definitely one of the strongest shotguns on range because you can just snipe on range somehow. Even if the range is only 5.8, it um, can still make a lot of damage on a long range up to, I don't know, maybe even uh, 30 meters or something like that. I, I really don't know um, how long the range of the um, Accuracy 7 actually is. With 6 shots you can uh, snipe someone who is maybe even 100 meter away or even more than 100 meter, I don't know. I don't exactly know when the Accuracy 7 got released, but it definitely already got released around two years ago. So it got released, I think, um, in October 2014. I just remember that um, in 2014, I uh, already played since... I mean, in October 2014, I already, already played since around one or two months, and so... Um, I already saw the shotgun uh, in-game there and I also picked it up once at that time I think so it's uh, since a long time already in the shop and I just remember a long time ago it was that it was just the best shotgun in the game because everyone wanted to get that shotgun and everyone who had that shotgun was able to snipe everything and everyone and I also think it got nerfed once but I don't really know anything about that I just remember that it was a bit stronger once um, and now it's a bit less stronger well it could be um, that it only feels like that because um, to, uh, today everyone has got their crazy 7 or at least nearly everyone um, since that uh, transition with Midofcom and Crytek, I think that everyone already got the Ecarisi 7 Earthshaker version at least. So it's a strong gun, but it was strong once, or it, at least it felt like that. And now there is the question, how to get that weapon, how to get the Ecarisi 7? I can answer that question too, of course. You can get it um, when it's in the shop, in a box. I think it's going to be um, put in the shop with a credit box anytime, but I don't know when, of course. So probably it will take some time till it gets into the shop again. Well, I got the shotgun on a bit funny way. You know, um, probably some of you guys remember the old, old, old Warface um, level up rewards. You were able to get, uh, or you got a box for a weapon, for example, for the Accuracy 7. And when I reached, I think, level 70, no, 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 when I reached level 63, I got a box for the Accuracy 7. And, um, well, I thought, like, well, I won't get the Accuracy 7 in that box. That's nearly impossible. And then I opened the box and I was just like, what the hell? Because I got the Ecrazy 7 at that time. 
Oh yeah, that was a great time with these uh, level up rewards, but let's go back to the Accuracy 7, as I said, I think. It's going to get into the shop anytime again, but probably you need to pay credits to buy the boxes for it, because my.com copies the Russian server, and the Russian server is... Uh, on the Russian server everything is available for credits, or at least nearly everything. So and now you can tell me in the comments, how did you get that shotgun? You know I got the shotgun with that beautiful box. And I would like to know how you got the shotgun. I'm sure... I'm a bit interested in it, how much did you pay into it? I would like to know that. Uh, well, I guess uh, many of you guys paid um, crowns into that uh, box, because the Accuracy 7 was available at least one time in the cr uh, sorry in the crown boxes already a bit time ago but it was available for crowns w in crown boxes once and I guess it's possible that some of you guys got the accuracy 7 in these crown boxes oh well these crown boxes were so fucking stupid in my opinion because I spent 50,000 crowns and I didn't get a shit you know what's the funniest thing about the Accuracy 7? On low range, it's sometimes so fucking bad that you just think like, um, do I have a shotgun in my hands or is that a, uh, um, is that maybe a fucking MP? Maybe the standard MP? Hmm. Let's think about it. Oh no, it's the Accuracy 7. It's a sniper rifle or a sniper shotgun, which only works on long range and not on short range it's a fucking medic shotgun which is better on long range than on short range that's that doesn't make sense for me but it's funny because the range of it is 5.8 but it's good on range but it's bad on short range sometimes you won't do one hits on extremely short range but you can use uh, three bullets in your magazine and you will kill someone on range. Well, if you are unlucky and you're missing too much or you're uh, um, getting killed faster than you kill him, it's also not the best shotgun. Well, I think there are better, definitely better alternatives for the Accuracy 7. For example, the Faram set. Oh no, sorry. The Faram. ATF-12, that's at the moment uh, I think the second best shotgun um, for the medic and the best shotgun is the Pack 7 or at least um, when I was playing the Fast Cup around one week ago everyone was using the Pack 7 and not the what's it called, the Faram Sat, no no no, Faram ATF 12. Well, but if you want to do big kills, I mean, uh, like trying to do a combo kill in PvP, the Faram ATF 12 is even better than the Faram. Um, I mean, oh my god. I mean, the Faram ATF is better for long kill streaks than the Pack 7 because the Pack 7 has got a magazine and uh, the Pack. The, oh my god. The Faram. ATF-12 doesn't have a magazine, it's... Of course it has got a magazine, but it's... You just push bullets into it, and you don't have to reload it like the Pack 7 that you reload... That you put out the magazine and put out... Put in a new magazine. Put in, put out. So... But now we come to the end of this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, uh, even if my English probably sometimes fucked up. But I think that's normal, and I also want to talk about that once, uh, that uh, my English is not the best, that Swiss Wolfie's English is not the best, and uh, some other uh, f not British or American guys who are doing YouTube, I think it's nice that uh, we are at least trying to do a good content, and I think our English is understandable, but we are trying to improve it for you, of course. But I will 
try to talk about that in another video. Maybe, maybe I will talk about that. But let's see what the future brings in. So, but that's it for this video. As I said, I hope you enjoyed. Um, press the like button if you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, please tell me in the comments what you didn't like. Um, you can also dislike the video, of course. But I think if you write a comment with uh, saying, yeah, your video is bad because you did this and these things, that would help me much more than only a dislike. So that's it. Bye.